Gentlemen, you've just come off your ultimate guide to a payments business case yes. panel. Uh, Mikhail, Brad and Mike, thanks for joining us. Um, what were the most, I guess, discussed items from that panel? How about it interesting that especially local payment methods, I think that was the topic which we uh, took the most time for and were a lot of questions from the, from the crowd. And that's really a topic which is uh, uh, yeah, alive now, I think, in uh, hospitality. Mm -hmm. Cer certainly, Alipay, WeChat in China is a sort yep. of elephant in the room when yep. it comes to local payment methods, and there's a lot of interest about that. No doubt. And a little bit about how the hotel industry is moving from its historical property focused payment strategies to really embracing where the guest is coming from and trying to understand the economic benefits mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And in terms of three key takeaways that you would have wanted your audience to take with them, what would they be? That's a you, you might perhaps give one each given there's three of you here. Uh, yeah, then I, I think I get back on my local payment method uh, topic because, uh, you know, what I already said in the session, uh, there's so many people without cars, so you need to cater for those if you want to attract those travelers. Yeah. So make sure that you offer alternatives as well. Excellent. Yeah, and I'd say if you start to think about payments strategically and not just something that sort of happens in the background, that you start to unlock a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. I think the way the guest interacts with the hotel brand has really started to change you know, with the use of mobile phones and and I think my biggest takeaway is that payments really needs to be part of that in order to complete the guest experience. Okay, great. Now, just finally, you, Brad, mentioned about the, the Chinese component and WeChat and Alipay. How do you feel, all three of you, how do you feel generally that we are uh, embracing that side of um, the market in the Western world? Now, given that so many travelers are coming out of China and the expectation of them is to use those payment services, are we keeping up or do we still have a long way to go? I think it's harder for hospitality just based on our model, but we're our heart's certainly in the right place. Yeah. We want to make it happen, but it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It very much depends on the vertical. I mean, I work with, uh, my company works with all verticals, and for example, high-end retail, they're already much further ahead because they, they know and they want to uh, sell to those Chinese shoppers those expensive bags, etc. Also, when airlines are a little bit further, it depends a bit on the, on the, on, on, on the, on the vertical, on the brands. Mm -hmm. I think we're just starting to address some of the concerns of the, of the Chinese traveler. I think that our infrastructure and legacy payment components haven't really allowed that, mm. but, but the Chinese traveler is changing the way we look at payments going forward. Yeah, totally. Excellent. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Enjoy Thank the you. rest of the show. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.